Bitcoin is seeing a bounce from the support right here guys like mentioned in yesterday's video we came right now all the way up towards the support right here is it possible for Bitcoin right now to break the support and continue this uptrend or are we most likely going to see a rejection and can Bitcoin come down to the horizontal support again so guys today's video is going to be very very interesting we are going to talk about the gain stop stocks and about the movements that are right now happening on the internet and in the stock market which are absolutely crazy we are going to have a look at the bitcoin options that are expired today and if that could have a effect on the bitcoin price so guys drop a like leave your comment down below with that being said my name is Jeroen welcome to the blockchain today the channel where you subscribe for daily crypto videos and right now guys let's jump into the bitcoin price action and guys before we are zooming in right here on the bitcoin chart you know the deal let's take a single minute with every single one of us scroll below this video hit the thumbs up button guys you are really supporting the channel with that and your support is highly highly appreciated then guys let's have a look at the bitcoin price right here we are looking at the one hour time frame and yeah i want to point out something like yesterday i have been making a video and i've been telling in my video yesterday that bitcoin is actually quite indecisive but after i've uploaded yesterday's video i've seen some more signals in the bitcoin chart which were indicating that we are going to see a bounce right here so guys that's why it's so important that you follow me over on twitter and that you are entering the discord uh, channel because yesterday after i uh, yeah after i found these uh, signals in the chart i've posted them right here on my twitter so guys right after i've uploaded yesterday's video on youtube i've posted this on twitter that we are seeing a bullish divergence we have a negative funding rate which is bullish right and potentially forming a bo double bottom that i was already saying in the video but yeah sometimes i will be uploading my video and afterwards i will suddenly see some signals so if you don't want to miss that guys join us on discord follow me on twitter the links are down below in the description so guys when we have a look at bitcoin and yeah let's go to the four hour time frame because we actually yesterday we were expecting this bounce we have we've created a lower low in the price right here and if we bring out the rsi we actually created a higher low this is a bullish divergence we don't know yet how strong this divergence uh is going to be but yeah so far so good if we have a look at the funding rate then we had a negative funding rate this is most of the time a bullish sign guys and the funding rate is actually an awesome indicator so guys those were the reasons for me to believe that we are going to see a bounce and at least at least come to the resistance right here and it is even possible that we are going to see a breakout to the upside it's definitely definitely possible let's have a look into that so let's have a look at what the rsi of the four hour chart is actually saying let's make it a little bit smaller right here if we have a look at the rsi on the four hour chart then we are actually breaking a some form of a resistance right here some form of a declining resistance which is actually quite interesting and i think we are not seeing these bullish divergences that often in the chart as well on the four hour time frame so this could definitely indicate that um if if we are going to see an increase in momentum which right now it looks like we are breaking above the uh, momentum resistance right then i think uh, it's definitely possible if the price is going to break above this declining resistance that we are seeing a legit breakout to the upside guys i don't think that that is too uh, far-fetched so guys can bitcoin right now break above this declining resistance right here well we have to see that we are breaking a resistance in the rsi which is actually quite interesting but yeah if we are seeing the price uh breaking above this level and we are seeing a increase in the amount of volume then that definitely increases the likelihood that we are seeing a legit breakout because we are seeing some interesting signs right now already right we have the volume slightly increasing the closer we are getting to the resistance which is a awesome thing that we are breaking through the resistance in the rsi we have a negative funding rate and we have a bullish divergence which could cause enough bullish momentum for bitcoin to break out right here so i wouldn't be surprised if we are going to see bitcoin breaking out right here in the near future then guys something crazy is going on in the stock market and especially with the GameStop stocks and i don't know if you guys heard about the story but this is actually a, a world turned around so normally we have banks and corporations manipulating uh, stock prices or prices of commodities right prices of gold and silver and eventually 
uh, the normal, the regular investors, the average Joe is the victim of that. They are the ones losing money or they are the ones not getting a fair reflection of the price. But right now it's actually the other way around. And this is absolutely crazy what happened, guys. So you are seeing this pump in this uh, stock right here. This is the GameStop stock. And yeah, right here or approximately right here when GameStop was at lower levels, you had some hedge funds, corporations, they are shorting GameStop right here. And guys, there was a post going viral in the subreddit of Wall Street Bets, which were saying that yeah, everybody needs to buy GameStop stock right here. And a lot of people made a lot of money with this because yeah, the, the price went just parabolic. But the hedge funds, the corporations who were shorting right here, they have lost a significant amount amount of money and i don't know don't know what is going on with them right now but yeah it was a huge huge problem for them but it's so funny to see this right now the other way around right the wheels are turned now it's the retail investor which is causing the fund managers the hedge funds the corporations to uh yeah to be a victim actually of price manipulation and guys a lot of people were buying this stock from the robin hood app and robin hood has disabled or have taken out gamestop from their uh yeah trading exchange which is of course very bad thing because yeah they they just taking away the opportunity for people to buy uh yeah, to buy the stock just purely because of the fact a lot of corporation and hedge funds they are losing because they had massive short positions open so guys this was actually a massive short squeeze against the bigger corporation so actually that is quite cool and also something we haven't really seen before and guys you have to imagine that you have these fund managers right people in suits on wall street they really have to explain to people who have been invested into their corporation that that they actually lost a lot of money due to the fact that just million people on the internet went long on an asset because you had a short position open so that is actually quite crazy and when we have a look at uh, the wall street bets right here on reddit we can see that they are already planning right now the world's biggest short squeeze and they want to do it on silver so right now after the rally we have seen in gamestop they are planning to yeah to, to make a massive short squeeze in the price of silver and guys if we have a look at silver right here then we can already see silver pumping quite hard so it is actually quite working i will leave a link to this article down below in the description guys for everyone who wants to read this or everybody who wants to yeah wants to join with this short squeeze i think it's actually quite crazy if they could pull off something like this then that would definitely be something historic and something we haven't really seen before from the retail investor then guys today can be actually a volatile day because today there are a lot of options expiring on bitcoin approximately 4 billion and yeah so normally when we are seeing such amounts of options being expired actually this is such a high amount we haven't really seen before but it normally when we are seeing such high amounts uh, of options expiring in the bitcoin futures market it can bring some volatility to the bitcoin price i have been analyzing it in the past i have looked at previous price action and moments when options were expiring there is no clear direction that if we are going to see uh, volatility to the upside or volatility to the downside however it can definitely show a increase in volatility so yeah today we are seeing that expiration and yeah there is definitely possible that we are going to see increased volatility right here in the bitcoin price and as we are right now looking at the bitcoin price guys we are looking at the one hour time frame so it's not yet that significant but it looks like bitcoin is trying to yeah break out right here it's trying to push to high levels trying to break out of this uh descending triangle or this uh descending wedge depends how you look at it and guys i definitely think that bitcoin could get a nice shot right here trying to break out and due to the reasons i've been mentioning below white right, bullish divergence negative funding rate bitcoin is actually looking quite strong there is one thing i want to warn you guys about and i think you need to be aware of this that is on the four hour time frame and that is actually a bearish cross and yes yeah, some people also know this as the death cross and that is when the 50 moving average on the four hour time frame can also be on the daily time frame on the weekly time frame if the 50 moving average is going below the 200 moving average then yeah we call that a death cross so right there let me bring up this moving average so here you can see that on the four hour time frame we have the orange line which is the 50 moving average and the blue line is the 200 moving average and as you can see the 50 moving average right here 
is yeah going below the 200 moving average which is a death cross on the four hour time frame in the previous time we have seen a death cross that was right here and yeah we have seen some yeah weird weird price action we had actually first a pump in the price which was followed by a quite a huge dump we had a dump of approximately from the top till the bottom a dump of approximately 17 percent so that was actually quite crazy when we have seen that death cross um yeah normally this is actually a bearish sign because it shows us that uh, bitcoin or any other assets which is seeing such a cross that it could transition into a downtrend because we have the long-term time frame uptrend it is going yeah slightly sideways as you can see right here slightly to the upside and then we have the shorter term time frame moving average going below this uh, below this longer term time frame moving average which is indicating the trend is slowly transitioning to a downtrend so that is some this definitely something to watch guys i think if we are seeing a legit breakout right here which definitely could be happening right now as we are recording this then yeah i don't think this is going to have that much significance such a death death cross however guys this is something you want to be aware of if we are going to see a rejection or a fake out eventually and in combination with that death cross that will be actually quite a bearish sign then guys when we have a look at ethereum in the us dollar comparative then we can actually see that yeah ethereum is still trading in this rising wedge pattern right and yeah we are seeing a bounce from the support which is quite interesting so far it looks like that the bounce in bitcoin is actually more stronger than in ethereum right here in the shorter term time frame so that is something to notice that's actually quite interesting but yeah we clearly are still trading within this pattern we haven't seen a breakout to the upside or to the downside yeah which might come quite soon right guys let's go back to the bitcoin chart real quick and yeah let's talk a little bit about the levels that i'm watching well first of all the first level that i'm watching above us is the horizontal to level right here at the previous high at approximately 34,900 because as you can see guys here we have been setting the previous high but this level has also been acting as previous support and previous resistance so that that is the reason why i expect some significance from this level but i do think guys that if bitcoin sees a decisive break from this level yeah high probability we are going to break above this level as well but this is going to be a, a turning point because if we were to break above this level then that is showing us that bitcoin is entering a uptrend again and guys that would be actually quite bullish because that would mean that we are going from a downtrend bullish divergence four hourly time frame breaking the resistance go into a uptrend so that is definitely the bullish scenario guys bitcoin right now is looking very very strong wrong then guys the target of this formation is of course depending on what kind of formation you are seeing here but let's have a look at the different types of targets first of all we have the falling wedge target and the falling wedge target is of course the top of the wedge right here which would be at approximately 41,800 slightly below 42,000 if this were to be a descending triangle then the target would be the width of the triangle right here put at the point of breakout right here and that would set the target of this formation at approximately 45,246 US dollars so that would be actually quite crazy if Bitcoin uh, were to reach these targets so guys those are the targets that I'm watching in this formation so that is the top right here the previous high at approximately yeah slightly below 42,000 US dollars if this were to be a descending triangle then the target is slightly higher approximately at 45,200 but okay guys that's it for today's video guys if you all want to trade this pattern then you can do that over on the bybit exchange right now there is still a special bonus going on of 620 us dollars when you sign up using my affiliate link and when you use the promo code jackpot all the information and deposit requirements you can find down below in the pinned comment guys and this bonus is running till the 5th of february so you have a couple of days left to claim this bonus of course you can also trade over on the prime xbt platform on the famix platform i have all my affiliate links down below in the pinned comment and for every single one who wants to learn how to trade who wants to get a better understanding of these cryptocurrency markets i have made a trading course which is a very detailed course and will teach you everything you need to know in order to become a profitable cryptocurrency trader right now there is a 50 us dollar discount using the code btfd and you can find more information on the blockchain today.com as well a link down below in the description
But okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If so, guys, please do take a minute, scroll below this video, hit the thumbs up button, highly appreciate it. Make sure that that great thumbs up button is turning blue. Then I want to wish every single one of you an amazing day ahead. And for everyone who hasn't seen one of my awesome tutorials, you can go over there, watch one of those, and I will see every single one of you in the next video.